four eight three. Looks like he got out all right and just kind of slowed down a little bit to uh, put some context here on the linebackers. Top ten in tackles last year in the NFL. Here's the averages. Six two and one eighth, two hundred and thirty eight pounds, running a four six seven. It's been the key piece of a, one of the best defenses for a long period of time. Dakota Allen, four seven eight. I say all types of production. How about 17 sacks and 21 and a half tackles for loss in the best conference in the country? Seven of your 10 top 10 are in the groups today. Bosa, Williams, Josh Allen, Christian Wilkins, Ed Oliver, Rashawn Gary, Devin White. Sam Allen with a 4 7 flat. That's a good time. I mean, he is a, he's a pass rusher. And he said it might be really rich because they're not going to hear everything I'm saying. But he compared his relentlessness to how Khalil Mack plays the game. Josh Allen being, being all out all the time. This guy's got a, he's an excellent blitzer. Timing. Get off blocks. Physical player. You see, which at a 228 pounds, probably going to want a little bit more speed wise there. Your Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year. That's a great time. That's right in that right in the range. That zone that you were talking about. That's in that range. And you see him cover tight ends on tape. You see some short area burst. Can I smile at the camera? <laughs> yeah, you can smile, Cody. Anxious to watch him run, Charles. I said he was a short stepper when I watched him on tape. He's getting out a little bit better than that. He's had some work on it, DJ. That's a great time. He got, he got some work in, didn't he? Because that's different than what you see on tape when you watch him run, isn't it? Well, he runs he runs fast. I just thought he was at those little short, yeah. short little choppy little steps. He strided it out a little bit there. You see him. Tap in. He is a resource rich because I've heard as great of a football player is. He's an awesome leader. Four, four, Moses Malone. Oh, four, just four. Just shown up. Uh, Bill, he's an excellent blitzer. I wrote splash hits. I mean, there are some huge hits he puts on tape. Nice run for Cashman. Golden Gopher, 4-5-2. Wow. That'll help. And he was very productive last year, guys. At one year starter at Minnesota, and boy, did he capitalize on it. Coached him in high school. Ryan Connolly. All these times Man. are good. There you go. Send me back to that meeting again. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> Well, Dodson. That's moving. <laughs> Four six one. We're beginning to see some serious speed now. Here he goes. Four six six. Just repeat that that stat again one more time. DJ top ten tacklers in the NFL last year. Their average forty time was four six seven. Okay. Seven six. He, he, he now becomes one of the slow ones. Yeah. Which is amazing, right? But DJ, real quick, when you were scouting, was there a, a, a conversation piece around the league about? And now the top programs, and they're pulling kids all over the country. And that Urban Meyer going to Ohio State, there is a lot of good players at Ohio State. Yep. But when they when Urban got there, and they went down to Georgia, and went down Florida. to Florida. No go today. Four nine nine. Wow, that surprises me on Real picks. Nice. What? I, I did not see that coming. <laughs> he plays a heck of a lot faster than four nine nine. I imagine he should run pretty well. There you go. It's a four five one. It's pretty well. That's scoot on. DJ, is there any way you saw Hanks at four nine nine? No. For the Longhorns this season. Four four three. <laughs> That's the best burst we've seen by a Longhorn since Bevo at the Bull Day. <laughs> wow. Got out the blocks. Commercial break, Jordan Jones. 462. These times are great today. Bobby Okariki. Stanford linebacker, long arms, very athletic. <laughs> About what you'd expect. Oh. 
Ooh. Four, five, eight. Nice. Cameron Smith. This is big for Cam Smith because there's some concerns and questions about his speed and athleticism. <laughs> Four, seven flat. Not bad. Okay. Ty Summers of TCU. Nice four five two. I'm telling you, Rich. These guys have been training, man. Sioni Taki Taki. You know what happens if he gets three get sacks in a game, Rich? It's Taki Taki Tuesday. Nice. Well, four six three provides good. Uh... See him. He can run and carry tight ends down the field. <laughs> Six flat for Tranquil yeah, here. When you see guys like this on college tape just running easily with tight ends at the collegiate level, you know you can run a little bit. Okay, the man who rides Daisy May to finals in December <laughs> by a hundredth of a second unofficially. Let's see what Devin White does. 442. Rich, <laughs> giddy up. Giddy up. Indeed, that is your clubhouse leader. Number of performances that we've seen here is a lock is 484 that I sit back here and I'm like, well, you know, it's so was, many of them. So much talent. I, I remember I was on a, a flight not long ago and I was sitting next to an assistant general manager in the NHL and we were talking about scouting and hockey and, and football and how it's evolved and changed. And he said, look, when I started out, size and physicality was big. Oh, wow. Way to go. Now, FaceTime. So let's give him a moment, everybody. It is pretty emotional for Devin White, but so cool. Well, Rich, I was, he was he's got another run too. He's got another shot at it. But what he was saying in the NHL used to be size and physicality. Then it was speed and skill is what they're looking for. In the NFL, we've seen the same thing. you got to be able to run. Josh Allen betters his time by six one hundredths of a second. So that's a nice time of 4.64. That's in that sweet spot you were talking about. Character, toughness, production, and this type of speed and athleticism, it's hard to miss. So that's a split as you would use in terms of differences between times. Miss these because we were in commercial break, so we'll recount them for you. Jeff Allison. He runs a 4 8 3 40. There you are. Cody Barton. Very nice. 4 6 7 is when he started. That's when the faster time started up. Cody Barton got us started, and he's improved on his time. Nice and done. Coverage. You see that athleticism. This one was one of the ones that surprised me. Let's Just see. how fast. Okay, let's see the second one. Let's see, dude. Let's see. DNA match. That's great. A DNA. Oh, oh, here we go. Bush. Okay. So we'll stick with the first one. 452. There's no slouch in itself. Blake Cashman ran that the first time. And Man. proved it slightly. Nicely done. An upright finish. Ryan Connolly. He went 467. Went 472 that time, so we'll stick with the first. We're back live. Well, Dodson of Texas A&M. You see Dodson's tape on. You see the speed on tape with him as well. He's another one that walk him out over the slot. Four six three. He shoots gaps. When he can get in a gap, he's really disruptive. He's just there's times where he struggles to get, sort through that trash, as we like to say. A lot of bodies moving inside. When he's stacked inside, he struggles sorting that stuff out. But when he's got clear sight lines, he can go. Is that Goulet coming up? Tony Romo made his first year there. You know, they're from the same school, East Illinois. Yeah. He sent his son to Romo's room. Said he was going to send his son to Romo's room. That his son was such a fan of Romo's. Joe Giles Harris of Duke. So the moral of the story is never, ever. Never give out your room number. We go through him. He gets one bed. I get the other. The next morning, we come downstairs. We go, how are your guys' rooms? And we go, plural. They go, you guys each had your own room. Oh, gosh. 
So nice times for Port Augustine there. I mean, again, he, he missed the last six games with a broken injury, missed most of the season. Leonard ran 4-7 flat. I think Hanks was 4-9-9 unofficially. Unofficially. 4-5-3 for Justin Hollins. At 6'5", 248 pounds. Coming through and wanting to provide. He's putting Ooh. a heck of a tape out there today to provide for his family. Go 4-4-6. Four, four, Look at that. Carol Thomas will approve of that one as well. Jordan Jones. 4-6-5. He's a good blitzer, too. He has some big hits on tape as a blitzer. DJ, I'm interested in these next two, Okariki yeah. and Pratt, because Pratt reminds me a little bit of a young Alec Ogletree going from safety to inside. And Okariki, with those long arms, do you see him staying inside or potentially going outside and dealing with tight ends? I know he's, he's long like that, but I still think Okariki's going to end up playing off the ball. Oh, Dexter was there? Yeah. Okay, and, well, no wonder. Well, apparently, they, they you know, have no, enough. as you know, he got hurt and in, in, uh, he, he couldn't finish. Apparently, it's a minor injury. He should be able to go on the 14th. Oh, good. What the word good. is right now. That's great. For the Clemson Pro Day. Ty Summers. How many of these guys are former safeties, DJ? A pretty decent number, aren't there? Uh oh, oh look oh, out. No, that's too bad. All right. You were talking about those track, you know, those guys being able to run, DJ? Mm -hmm. Coming from the safety position in college now, they move them forward to that linebacker spot, even though they're, they're light. His wife was a little bit off course, and he got married, and he credits his wife for really helping to reset the course for him and get things turned around. And had a nice year at BYU, a really good week at the East-West Shrine. I knew about the, the, the two guys at the top, plus Josh Allen, but this group as a whole has really ran well. I'm looking forward to watching them work out. And Tranquil improves his time. And now the leader in the clubhouse unofficially arrives back on the stripe. Man, four, four, five. Well done. 